Hey guys, I uh, hope everyone out there is having a great day or a great morning or great evening, wherever you happen to be. Uh, today is July 11th, and this is always a special day for me because July 11th, 2002 is when I went to the Philippines. And uh, that's that started an 11-year journey that was just awesome. And uh, I, I tried doing a video on it a minute ago, but then I listened to it and I'm like, uh, this is, this video is just not, it, the video is just not going very well. It just, to me, it was kind of boring. So uh, anyway, one thing that did come to mind is, as I was thinking about that initial journey to the Philippines, uh, I was thinking about all the advantages that I had because I was with an agency, so I was blessed to have uh, financial support. I had um, mentors that were there waiting for me once I arrived in Manila. I kind of had my own barcada, which is the Filipino term for a group of friends. So uh, I really had a lot of advantages because I kind of had everything that I needed to be, uh, I guess you could say, successful in life and ministry in the Philippines. And so I have a lot of respect for, or maybe sympathy for those who just kind of hop on a plane and go over there maybe without uh, some of these benefits. Uh, but it does bring something to mind. And this, what I'm gonna share with you, it, apologies if it sounds overly simplistic. It's not, I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence. But uh, I did get a question a few days ago by someone who is think he's thinking about going to the Philippines and uh, to meet a young lady he'd been chatting with and he was saying, okay, I'm going to think I'm going to live with her family for a while and I'm wondering how long should I stay or could I move to the Philippines? And before anyone in the comments gives this guy a hard time, remember, he was wise enough to ask someone before he made this move. So let's give him some credit for that. But basically what I wanted to share in this video is if you're if you're going to move to the Philippines, it's very important that as much as possible that you have a few things uh, planned out at least at some level. Uh, if nothing else, you need to be sure where your income is going to be coming from. Because as I've discussed before, you, you end up in some situations where you've got American beggars in the Philippines. And part of it is they, they, came, they came to the country without really any kind of plan as to what they were going to do. And th this guy that sent an email to me, I advised him because, again, his main point was he wanted to meet this girl and she didn't seem that excited about moving to his country. So... He was thinking, well, I'll just pack up and move to the Philippines and live there for an undetermined amount of time. On, And he didn't really have much of a plan as far as financial support either. So I, what I advised this guy to do was to, I said, if you really want to meet her, first of all, stay in a hotel. Don't plan to live with the family. That's probably going to get claustrophobic pretty quickly and... If this thing goes south and you find out that this thing is not working like you thought it would, it's going to be really awkward to be there with her family. And, But I also said, why don't you just go see her, go stay for a week or two, and then you can talk about what comes next. Because she may be more open to moving to your country if she really likes you and she realizes that two of you need some type of support. Because this guy that sent the email is a... Uh, he, he's a professional, uh, probably based on the profession he shared with me, probably a really smart guy. Uh, so anyway, that, that's all I really wanted to share with you this morning is that if you're going to move to the Philippines, uh, be, sure to, be sure to use your head. You may, want to, uh, you may want to visit there for the first time for a week or two and, and just see if it's something that, that, that you could... Uh, you could get into something you would like and, and now see when I moved to the Philippines again I already had the support but I'm not sure how many websites and forums there were available for those who were thinking about moving to the Philippines maybe there were a lot I don't know but 
uh, that's something else you can do. I've tried to share some of the tips on, on my channel. I try to read a lot of the things I've shared and things that other uh, YouTube guys in the Philippines have shared. And make sure that you have a, a workable plan. If you can only afford to live in the Philippines for or to do a vacation, start off with that. If you don't have a a steady income outside of working a nine to five job in in the United States or wherever you're living, then obviously you can't quit that nine to five job. But you may start developing some online streams of income. So. Uh, you may say, well, Kevin, I want to start a business in the Philippines. Uh, if you're good at business, then that may work, but still you need to do a lot of research and, and think about things ahead of time. Again, for me, when I arrived in the Philippines, I had so many advantages because uh, I just had that support system already there. Now, I, in, I eventually left that agency that I was with. I was with them for three years and then three years was kind of the max amount of time I could spend with that particular agency and after that I started raising my own money and I was able to do that but by the time I went solo so to speak I already had a lot of advantages in my favor I understood the culture I had learned the language I kind of knew the lay of the land pretty well uh, having said that there are little tips here and there that I've picked up from watching some of these YouTube videos that I thought man I wish I would thought about that back when I was living in the Philippines so uh, anyway just wanted to share that with everyone Philippines is a great place to live I, I loved my 11 years there but you, you definitely need a plan you need to have some idea of, of, of where you're going to live, where your support's going to come from, what you're going to do. Uh, I, I would advise against just kind of uh, packing up and moving there, especially if you don't have the financial means to survive. So anyway, this is just kind of, a, I guess, a, a friendly reminder, you could say. Again, I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence, but if you're chatting with a pretty Filipina and you think, oh, I'm just going to hop on the plane and move to the Philippines, uh, if you have if you have income and if you have the the means to do that then maybe but but be sure that you've thought everything through before you make a move like that so hope this video helps